We've got to get out of here. They'll get us even if we stay hidden. He's 900 yards away. I know, Stellar. I've got super sensitive hearing, too. Quiet! What? <laughs> Some super sensitive hearing. I was tuned into distance. Move up, man! Stellar! <gasps> oh. Your noses are lighting up. Shh! It means we're in danger. Be very quiet, oops. Or we'll be captured. You too, Len. <laughs> Uh-oh! He's getting closer! And we're getting weaker! We've got to find a home, quick! With someone who'll recharge us with love! I'll focus my telescopic viewing! A boy and a man! And they seem to love music! And if they love music, they'll love us! Thank you, Michael. In that case, I'll take a bow. Hey, Cookie Cooper! Cookie Cooper! Uh oh! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Thank you very much. And now, for a brief intermission, while we find the rest of the orchestra. Look, Robot Man! A trunk! Maybe we can fit inside! Right! Not a very dignified way for a robot to travel, but at least we'll be safe. <laughs> hey, Michael! Let's see some of your uncle's other inventions! Yeah! <laughs> My uncle has some great inventions. Right, Uncle Thomas? Right! We'll show them, Michael. Come on, kids! I heard a door slam. Let's hope it's not locked. We've got to find love while we can still walk. What is that? Help! Just watch. Take my coat, please. Thank you. <laughs> it's no use. Wh what's happening to me? Your energy is running down too, oops. We need love. And quick. Lint loves us. We need people, love. Anybody can invent dumb things that don't work. Yeah. Just wait till you see what my uncle is inventing now. It's the greatest ever, isn't it? Sure. Where is it? Uh, well, uh, it's in the garage. Yeah, show us. No, wait! I said it isn't finished. There's nothing here but a funny-looking animal. Yeah, and these dumb toys. <laughs> Touch our hearts. They talk. Huh? Uh, of course they do. Great. We're sinking fast, and they're standing there gaping. Come on. Touch our hearts. I wanna be your robot man. I like.
glad to help you if I can. I'll be your robot, real life robot man. If there's a message, send it through. You're in control, it's up to you. Program my heart. Cooper is, is Super Cooper. Wait till we tell the others. But I didn't. Who are you? Where did you come from? How did you get here? My card. Robot Man? We're from Robot Land. I'm Stellar. Excuse my appearance. I've been in the woods too long. And that it. And I'm Oops, my card. <laughs> At least I spelled it right. Company's coming. It's my other uncle, Charles Man Helen. Wait till they see our new friends. Oh no! What's that? I think we have company, too. It's okay, Oops. We'll be safe as long as we're in this home. With all this love. Who, who's in here? You will destroy the love in this house. Who, who are you? Who, who, what are you talking about? Make Thomas and Michael leave. And the robots will be alone again. What robots? We'd never make Thomas leave. We rent the house to him for very little money, so he can take care of our nephews. Poor mother and father passed away. The robots will be alone in the woods by tonight. <laughs> It's time that fool Thomas paid the rent he owes us. Or get out. Don't go near that place. You've lived here for nothing long enough. Pay the rent. Or leave. And take that rat Michael with you. Huh? But I don't have the money. My repair business hasn't been good lately. Give me a few days. We want our money tonight! Pay up or we'll kick you out tonight! Aunt Helen! Uncle Charles, what's wrong? I don't understand. We do. He wants us in the woods again. To capture us. Just when we found friends. And love. He can't do that to us. I won't let him. I'm gonna make him leave us alone. Go away. Oops, no. Come back. Oops, shield your eyes. Follow the flute. 
No, stay here, Lint. It's no job for you. in my memory bank. <laughs> Who was that awful creature? Roboron. He wants to destroy us. Why? Because we like people. Roboron wants robots to do bad things to them. Remember the rent money. By tonight. But Uncle Charles. By tonight. Or you'll be sleeping in the woods. And it's dark. <laughs> How will I raise the money? Nobody brings their broken things to Kooky Cooper's repair shop anymore. We'll help raise the money. Right, Robot Man? Sure. We'll go into town and repair things for people. We can fix anything. Watch. Come on, Mr. Cooper, Michael, let's hurry into town. new friends. Mr. Cooper, you're a genius. Those robots you invented are incredible. From now on, I'm going to bring all my repairs to you. Yes, yes. I will. Uh -huh. yeah. That fool Thomas raised the rent money. And the people love those stupid robots. Not for long. And without love, they will be helpless. on the robots. Cooper's robots did it! They destroy everything they touch! Destroy them before they wreck the town. Quick, to the woods! But why aren't we going home with Michael and Mr. Cooper? Because we've caused enough trouble for them already. Come back! Wait! To the woods! We just made trouble for you. If it weren't for us, Roboron wouldn't have turned your aunt and uncle against you. 
Jake Lynn. Look, my nose is blinking blue for sad like yours. Come on. They'll know you're coming. It will do them no good. Their energy will soon run down, and they'll be helpless. <laughs> He's playing our song. Pipe down, Robot Man. If he finds us, it's the end. Put that in your memory bank. There's something else in my memory bank, Stellar. He's afraid of our music. Let's strike up the band to welcome him. Oh, no. Our energy's giving out. Because the people in the town didn't like us. And the ones who do aren't here. I want to be home with Michael and Mr. Cooper and Lynn. Vince wants to help his friends, Uncle Thomas. And so should we. That's what friends are for. should be programmed to hate, not love. You will now be destroyed. Music! The only thing that can destroy me! <laughs> Come on, let's serenade Roboron! to us. Oops, please, open your eyes. We're home with Michael and Mr. Cooper for good. I'm glad Cooper's invention is broken. We should break the other robots, too. The robots didn't wreck the town. And they're not my inventions. They're real. Kooky Cooper. He thinks his robots are alive. We are. And we need love like everyone else. <laughs> Look, the robots are crying. They have feelings. That means they are alive. Oops. Please don't leave us. We need you. You're so brave. And good. And full of fun. Don't stop. There's more. He's okay. Are you real? Can you hear? Let's see if I still work. Oops. 
same old oops. <laughs> Bitty buddies, that sure was fun. But take it from me, we've just begun. Put on your 3D glasses and get in fashion, because it's time to see something really smashing. Yeah! There! Yeah. Looks like it's all downhill from here. Help! When I get my mitch on that mug, I'm gonna slam him right out of the park. Alas, and alack. Let's say it's time for a seventh inning stretch already. Better up, Homer. We're gonna send this dope to the big dugout in the sky. Hey, daddy, daddy. This is no fun at all. Chill out, troops. We've got these guys just where we want them. Over up. Even. Huh? What's this? Your bill. The mall's policy is simple. You break it, you take it. Oh, bug off! Ah, missed me. Heavens to fucking rights! <laughs> in here. Not for long. I'm blowing this bird and taking the loop with me. Hey, haven't you heard? The laugh squad always gets its man. I'm bird. Oh, yeah? Well, there's a little spare change for you and your food. Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll stop them. Secret, no. It's too dangerous. Working on the fourth lift, all the live long. Check out this deal, Flack. We won't turn you in if you cut us in for 50% of the book's profits. Better yet, you won't turn me in and I get to keep all the profits. Yeah! Motley, this is all your fault! <laughs> ah, kids today. <laughs> Your kidnapping days are kaput, crook. Who's going to stop me?
sure is nice of them to be looking out for me. No! Uh, just drop me off at the record store, okay? Don't mention it. Now, Yogi, I don't think we should be messing around with someone else's things. Yeah, don't be such a sticky stick in the mud type, Cindy. <laughs> We've got to get to the bottom of this mystery. Wait up! I got a bad feeling we're going to get to the bottom of something else. <laughs> to hard hats. It's a... Dead dead. Dead. You're a real brewer! Yeah, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me, I'm sure. When I'm in distress, I take the Yogi Bear Express. Give me back my briefcase. Yeah. most popular resident, Yogi Bear, in the feature length, Yogi and the Invasion of the Space Bears. Then, 90 minutes of fun in Yogi Bear's Jellystone Gems. And at last, to make any birthday party special, it's Yogi's birthday party. It's a Jellystone picnic of video hits, featuring the funnier than average bear, Yogi Bear and his little buddy, Boo Boo. Whoa, 
This is for the birds. Note to self, self, add wings to wish list. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Hamburglar Grimace Birdie Sunday, anyone? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hello. Just resetting the clocks. Yeah. I don't suppose you could lend a hand. Yeah. Look out below! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I need to switch to a digital clock. Clocks. You never really know them till you're face to face. <laughs> you know, time's a funny thing. Well, usually a funny thing. Except in today's adventure when we accidentally traveled back in time and ran into prehistoric creatures. And when we had to sing for a crabby little king. And we... <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. 30 seconds until adventure time, Ronald. You know what that means. It's time to talk time. Welcome to Ronald McDonald's Time Talk. With us today is Ronald McDonald. Tell me, Ronald, do you have a favorite time? That's a good question, Ronald. Let's see. I like a good time. I'm particularly fond of lunchtime. But I'd have to say my favorite time is any time. What a timely answer. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. Well, oh, we're out of time. Hope you had a good time. See you next time. Time to feed the fish. And read Grimace a bedtime story? Hey, what are you doing going off? You're not supposed to go off till tomorrow. Hee, boy, time flies when you're having fun. 15 seconds until adventure time, Ronald. I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Adventure is all about time travel, and it's a doozy. Well, why don't you see for yourself? Five, four, three, two, one! Hey, anyone in the mood for an adventure? What is it with you and adventure? I chased my tail a few times. <laughs> I'm done for the day. Ooh, how about a renaissance adventure with night sword play and beautiful maidens? Or a horseback adventure with uh, horses and uh, backs and, uh, you know, adventure. Those are both great ideas. How about a disco adventure? Disco adventure? Yeah, I'm a dancing fool. <laughs> wow, look at me working. I'm jiggy. <laughs> well, that's a lot to squeeze in. I don't know how we'll make the time. But let's go get Franklin and see what we can do. I've got to starch the lab coats, dust the shelves, tag the test tubes, and rinse the beakers. I promised my dad. Oh, well. Bye. We're gonna have fun. You know, I think what <laughs> Hamburglar means is none of us could enjoy ourselves knowing you were stuck here cleaning all by yourself. Actually, no. Listen, if we all pitch in and work as a team, we can finish in no time. Then we can all have fun together. This whole team thing is a problem. <laughs> You'll get over it. Franklin, have no fear. We'll all help you out. Thanks, guys. You're the best. So, what are we waiting for? Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work! We're here to help our buddy. To pitch in for our pal. So grab a mop and bucket. And hand me a wash towel. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those beakers. Get them so clean. We'll sweep like sneakers. We'll dust and mop from bottom to top. Polish and gloss. And brush and floss. We'll scrub and shine. And make it look so fine. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those beakers, get them so clean, we'll sweep like sneakers. We'll dust and mop from bottom to top. And when we're done, we'll have some fun. 
Roll up each and every sleeve. Heave, ho, 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 heave, heave. We all can work together. And then we all can leave. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those beakers. Get them so clean. We'll squeak like sneakers. We'll dust and mop from bottom to top. And when we're done, we'll have some fun. Wow. Guys, I think I found something interesting. Whoa! What is it? What is it? Oh, that's just my dad's time machine. Time machine? As in machine? That travels through time? I can show it to you after we finish cleaning. Looks like the gang is taking a time out. Uh, what does this button do? Please, don't touch anything. This is the fourth version my father's made. He still hasn't worked out all the bugs yet. <laughs> Everyone always blames the bugs. <laughs> I'm not allowed to mess with my dad's experiments. Besides, I promised I'd get this place cleaned up by the time he came home. So let's get cracking. But don't you see? With the time machine, we can jump a few hours into the future and have all the chores behind us. Guys, don't even think about it. Is this the two-hour button? Wow! <laughs> What's happening? Oh, no. oh, no. I'm in so much trouble. Everybody, hold on! Didn't you? Because I'm thinking, you know, this does not look all that futuristic. Where are we? It's more like, when are we, Ronald? He's a nervous hunk of purple in every time period, right, guys? <laughs> Quick, over here! I wonder if that giant T-Rex is Sue. You know, they found her bones recently. I've seen pictures of her in books. Whoa, this is no time for an archaeological news flash, Bertie. We have to get back to the attic right now. Right now! Oh, great. Just great. Everyone just relax. We have to stick together. Ronald, come quick! Coming, Hamburglar! Hang on! Now that is what I call a bone. Rumfold? Rumfold McDumfold. Nice to meet you, Rumfold McDumfold. I'm Ronald McDonald. You look like me, only worse. Ugh, ugh. Oh, that time machine is messed up. It's got people and dinosaurs living at the same time. That's not how it was. Let's get out of here. Not so fast. I have a feeling we could learn a lot from these guys. You grunt mm. while I talk mm. And you hop while I walk mm. Deep down under the skin mm -hmm. We are all really kin We're not so different after all mm -hmm. We're both big We're both small We're 
both short. And we're both tall. We're not so different after all. Chasing my tail puts the wind in my sail. Hey, you like it too. There's a lot we both do. Burgers for me, cave burgers for you. There's not much difference when the day is through. We're not so different after all. We're both big. We're both small. We're both short. And we're both tall. We're not so different after all. Franklin's my name. Science is my game. And it looks like you are pretty much the same. You got a beak that's just like mine. But your skin has a nice purpley shine. We're not so different after all. We're both big. We're both small. We're both short. And we're both tall. We're not so different after all. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hello. Partly digested time machine? Kid in danger of getting, like, grounded for life. I'm gonna regret that later. Uh, boy, oh boy, she really seems to go for those burgers. That's it! You're brilliant! No, oh, I'm the uh, Grimace. Guys, if we can't bring the time machine to us, we'll bring us to the time machine. Sounds dangerous. Hamburglar, do you have any burgers left? Just one. Mm, 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 mm. No, Roomfold, we need this. Okay, everyone, hop on! So much burger, so little time. Come on, Hamburglar! <laughs> Goodbye, Rumfold! Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Huddle in close, everyone. <laughs> Somebody have a dinosaur-sized breath mint? Great. One more thing we have to clean up. Okay, everybody, let's blast off before it's time for dessert. Anyone mind if we stop for a snack? I could really use a couple of hand... Whoa! Shh! Ronald is trying to concentrate! I'm just not sure. Ooh, uh, uh, this one looks nice. Well, something's happening. Oh, yeah. This is definitely not my attic. These are definitely not my tights. Ooh, I adore the costumes. I don't like the smell of this. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to take cover. I wonder if the coast is clear. I'm going to say hello! Uh, Bertie, watch out! They could be dangerous! Oh, don't be silly, Grimace! How could they be dangerous? Why, I bet they've been out slaying dragons, or rescuing beautiful princesses, or the snatching helpless birdies! Ronald, help! Help, Bertie! Bertie! Me thinks I've caught a cuckoo bird! Tis quite a funny-looking creature, is she not? Nay, for ye shall make a dainty dish to set before the king. King Mary, that is. Uh, why, thank you. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. This may not be good. To the castle! <laughs> <laughs> have no fear, Birdie! She can have some of mine! Come on, gang. Birdie needs us right now. Wow. They come when you whistle. Even I don't do that. Be nice, horsey. Okay, everyone. We're off to rescue Fair Birdie. To the castle! Ow. 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 To the castle! <laughs> okay, let's go. Move it. Come on, shake a hoof. Uh, I think you gotta say, to the castle. Right, like this guy understands to the castle. Uh, to the castle? Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Uh... Okay, comfy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I she's good and plump. Well, you're staring at my problem area. Where are like the four and twenty blackbirds? Escaped, sire. Very well. I shall bake this creature in a royal pie. Did you say bake me? His royal highness hath been in a royal funk. Very few things seem to make him smile. But a tasty meal is always met with glee. Too much. Uh, but, 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 uh, I bet I can make your kid smile. I'm an entertainer, you know, from a long line of songbirds. I know not the songbirds of which you speak, but make merry for King Murray, and you shall win your freedom. But if you fail. Me, 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 me. Oh, me better find a way out of here. My royal words. This set better be good or I shall throw a royal tantrum. If it pleases the king. Thou ought not count on it. Ta da! <laughs> what doth she do? Hmm. Oh, uh, entertain your lordship. She sings. Like a bird. Hey, boys! <laughs> Poor Birdie, this is terrible. Yeah, she never could carry the tune. But my wish is to ease your anguish and not end up as a dish. So, King, please enjoy my warbling just coming to nice sing. Look, King Murray's smiling. That's a smile, right? You call it that entertainment? Send her to the dungeon! Uh-oh. Thank you very much and good night! I love you, Renaissance! <laughs> this is not good. You can say that again. This is not good. Uh, I, I knew I was gonna do that. Okay, here's the plan. Hamburglar, you sneak down to the dungeon and see if there's some way to free Birdie while the rest of us try to distract King Murray and his guards. Let's go! Water, some elbow grease. This place would 
still be disgusting. Oh, Ronald, where are you? Disorder in the court! Disorder in the court! Hmm. What in the world hath we here? A humble mirth maker and his friends, Your Majesty. May I present, for your viewing pleasure, one Ronald McDonald and the McDonaldland Players! I guess that's us. Tis funny. It is very funny. The king is a monarch, tis true. He owns lots of diamonds and jewels. But it's not always a lark. Life is often quite stark. Being king can make you feel blue. It's not easy being king. Getting caught in your crown Can lead to a frown And that's not a very <laughs> good thing He makes decisions all day long Doesn't care if they're right or wrong Not to worry, he's both judge and jury A day in the life of King Murray The king is the ruler supreme The ultimate head of the team But when subjects mess up and they will mess up. It leads to frustration extreme. <laughs> it's not easy being king. You can trip on your ermine and end up squirming. Or no, it's not a fling. He makes decisions all day long. Doesn't care if they're right or wrong. Not to worry, he's both judge and jury. A day in the life of King Murray. Decisions all day long Doesn't care if they're right or wrong Not to worry, he's both judge and jury A day in the life of King Murray! Oh! 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 This is not funny! Cover your eyes, I implore you, peek not at his majesty's uh, royal tighty whities as it were. Hey there, birdie. Oh, oh, thank goodness you've come to save me. This place is absolutely filthy. I bet it is crawling with bugs. You know, I don't have to take this. Where's Hamburglar? He was supposed to save you. I demand to see a lawyer. Can I make a phone call? How about a last meal? A burger would be... <laughs> but I am not... Uh, there's Hamburglar. I see someone opened their trap. You goofy minions have made a laughing stock of my court. And now you shall suffer accordingly. <laughs> Now the bleakest hour is upon us. Surely I shall be grounded for all eternity. Huh? A pox on my doghouse. Ah, oh. Huh? And woe is me, for I pushed the very button that landed us here. Say, Grimace, is it my imagination, or is everybody talking funny? Perchance, methinks. Uh... I've got to get you guys out of here. Hmm. Ah. Okay, Big Shoes, do your stuff. The room, it, uh, earned it. Oh! Wow. Oh! Come on, gang. Let's get back to the time machine. <laughs> Better
better hurry. We've got a lot of years to cover. If there was only some way I could override the control system and isolate the destination codes. We're out of company! Do it ever, just do it faster! I know you can do it, Franklin. Here goes nothing! <laughs> I don't remember seeing tumbleweeds in Franklin's attic. Me neither. Oh, well, looks like the right place to me. Um, those might not be for the taking. The name is Ham Burglar, remember? I think you should remember we're not in McDonald land right now. Okay, I'll put him back. There he is! There's that burger thieving varmint! Just one. Run! He went this way! He's that way! Just like you, Hamburglar. Only not as handsome. Henry H. Burglar the second. What? Well, that's my great great granddaddy. It's Henry Burglar. Come on! Everybody inside. Wrong burglar. There's no mistaking the most wanted varmint in the whole county. <laughs> That's the way to do -si do Grimace. Now let's get out of here. I owe you, big guy. Uh, what'd I do? Uh -huh. <laughs> Just enough fuel to get home. Get that hamburglar! But we still don't know how to control this thing! We're never gonna make it! We're gunners! Hold on, everybody. We want to get back to McDonald Land, right? right? Right! Well, maybe we've just been pushing the wrong buttons. This was part of McDonald Land in the 70s. At least we're getting closer. Wow, I don't believe it. It's Mayor McCheese. Oh my, what a McDonald. Well, I'll be a burger in Bell Bottom. Oh, what happened, don't you know? Hey, I just learned the latest dance craze, the hustle. Look 
looking good, Mayor. And you're looking a little different. Is it the fog machine in here, or are you doing something with your hair? It's a long story. Anyhow, it's good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Now let's get down, shall we? Oh, oh yes, my boogie! Hoo, 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 hoo. Twist and shout! Back in the machine, guys. We're almost home. I bet this will do the trick. It looks positively worse than when we started. Hmm. Seems that trying to cut corners only made extra work, right, guys? Point made. I'm in the doghouse over here. Me too. And I'm not even a dog. Look at the bright side. Whether we meant to or not, we did everything we set out to do this weekend. <laughs> Not everything, Birdie. We've got 15 minutes before Franklin's dad comes home. Let's boogie! We've traveled through the ages. Saw kings and dinosaurs. But everything is grimy. We've still got all these chores. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those speakers, get them so clean. We'll speak like sneakers. Disco floor. Ooh, ooh. Adventures with Ronald. Or never a bore. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those beakers, get them so clean, they'll squeak like sneakers. Hello, everyone. You know, Franklin, I was thinking you should enjoy the weekend and leave the cleaning to me. Too late. Wow. <laughs> it looks great in here. You guys must have been working all day. Well, actually, we took the time to do a great job. Well, I have got the perfect reward for all of you. This is my quizzical time travel transporter. Why don't you all just hop in and we... Hello? Where'd everybody go? I think we've had all the adventure we need for one day. So much for putting things off for another time. I'll you say. know it! And how? Oh, uh, yeah. Tonight I'm gonna sleep like a frog. The expression is sleep like a log, Grimace. Uh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow night. <laughs> hey, yeah. uh, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I learned from today's adventure is, if you look for the easy way out, it usually ends up being harder than you think. Uh... I better call Franklin and let him know there's another snag in his dad's machine. Until next time, this is your very own clown, Ronald McDonald, hoping I see you live and in person at McDonald's. It, Franklin? Uh, don't know quite how to tell you this, but... Uh... Hey, everybody. If you thought that was fun, take a peek at some of the other adventures we have in store for you. <laughs> Wacky! <laughs> Coming soon, Ronald McDonald's all-new Wacky Adventure, The Monster-O-McDonaldland Lock. 
Join Ronald and the gang as they take a car trip to a mysterious lake and take part in a massive monster hunt. If you like really big adventures, then watch out for the Monster O McDonald Land Lock. Sold separately from Matchbox. The Ring Raiders air carrier Justice was in trouble. Wow! Ring Raiders report immediately. Yes, sir. 
To stop the evil skull ship, the Justice launched its planes and fired its guns. The Ring Raiders triumphed again because they had justice on their side. Nice work, Ring Raiders. Ring Raiders, the command is in your hands. Ring Raiders Air Carrier Justice, planes and skull ships sold separately from Matchbox. Somewhere in the North Pacific. Wrap them tight. It's the kid's first solo mission. Nervous, Cub? No, sir. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Sir, bogeys, three of them. Bridge to Cub. We've got three bogeys incoming at four o'clock. Distance two miles and closing fast. Return to base. That's an order. Do you copy? Uh, sorry, Lieutenant. Now, I'm not copying. A lot of static, sir. Proceeding ahead. Over and out. There they are. I repeat, turn back now. Sorry, Lieutenant. transfer successful. We have arrived in 1943. Right on time. Skull Leader Scorch, this volcano is perfect for our plan. Excellent, Siren. Plant the fusion device. Roger, Scorch. Anything showing on the radar to the northwest? Not a thing. You're in the clear. Siren, hubbub, take him out. Look at this punk myself.
They got me. <laughs> He's a goner. Prepare for time warp. What's happening? What? Alert. Cancel. Resume green status. Are you okay? Didn't your mama ever tell you it's rude to stare with your mouth open? Uh, no, ma'am. I mean, uh, yes, ma'am. The future of the world depends on you? <laughs> Boys, we're in big trouble. Welcome to the Air Carrier Justice Cup. How did you know my name? Where am I? What kind of ship is... <laughs> Come on down from there and I'll, uh, I'll explain everything. This is Commander Jenny Gale, MD. Doctor and pilot. Wow! Commander Kirkhoff. Commander Thundercloud. Repeat. Now in progress. All safety regulations in effect. Commander Yakamura. Commander Baron von Claudites. Huh? And I'm Ring Commander Victor Vector. There are a lot of commanders. Hey, you'll command a fighter wing, too. If you make it through your first mission, that is. We're part of the Ring Raiders. The rest of the group are on patrol in the 21st century. The what? Uh, I know you've got a million questions. Come with me. Have a seat. Sir, just one question. Are we in 1943? Nope. It's almost 50 years later. There was once an evil pilot called Scorch. To increase his flying powers, he kidnapped a group of top medical scientists. He forced them to research ways in which the human body could be improved to withstand the G-forces of severe dives and turns. The scientists found a mysterious ray that changed the body's molecular structure. Scorch's evil was magnified a thousand times, and his body became almost indestructible. He sought other evil pilots to do his bidding. Blackjack, the wild man of the skies. Chiller, with nerves of ice. The cruel siren. Mako, the shark of the air. Hubbub, a high-tech maniac. And the unearthly Raven. Together, they're known as the Skull Squadron. In their Skull Squadron mobile base, they set out to destroy and conquer. The Skull Squadron took command of the air. Their planes had time travel devices. Nothing was safe from Scorch. Finally, in the year 1998, I convinced the most powerful nations in the world to fight back. They created a huge flying wing, the Air Carrier Justice equipped it with the time travel device and placed it under my command. My assignment was to travel through time and recruit the greatest pilots of the past and future. We call ourselves the Ring Raiders. We've earned the right to wear this Ring Raider flight ring, which gives us special abilities. And thus began the battle for the skies. Well, Cub, can we count you in? 100%. I'm gonna miss my old life, but if it hadn't been for you, I'd be a grease spot on that island right now. Well, fellow Ring Raiders, does our new recruit pass muster? Aye, Commander! Cub Jones, step forward. You've been officially nominated to join the Ring Raiders, pledged to fight for right in the skies. Do you accept this honor? 100%. Give me your hand. 
With this ring, I confer upon you the title of commander in the Ring Raider Squad. Wear it always, but use its power sparingly. The command is in your hands. That's right, men. And when we're finished with this final phase of training, the command will be in your hands. What do we have to do to get ready? You've already proven that you're brave and fearless, and that you're prepared to fight to the end for justice against the Skull Squadron. Now, the only thing left to do before you're assigned to your mission is to familiarize yourself with your official Ring Raiders equipment. This is your official Ring Raiders desk. Use it and your chalkboard as your tactical planning center and store your gear in your Ring Raiders toy chest. Your Ring Raiders coloring and activity books will teach you important fighting maneuvers. And your action adventure cassettes will keep you in touch with Ring Raider Command. Yes, sir! You have to eat, drink, and sleep Ring Raiders. So when you eat, you eat from these school lunch kits. And you always drink from your official Ring Raiders mug. Yes, sir! And when you sleep, if you sleep, you sleep in your Ring Raiders slumber bag. And you don't go anywhere without your flight pack bath kits and personal supplies. Yes, sir! And since the Skull Squadron can attack at any time, you need to know what time it is. So use your official Ring Raiders watch. Finally, men, your walkie-talkie and flashlight to guide you through battle. And with your electronic game, you can practice your fighting maneuvers. Remember, when duty calls, it will call on this walkie-talkie. <laughs> sir! What is it? Duty calls. I'm afraid Scorch is back. The command is in your hands! You fools! Two of you, and you couldn't even shoot down an old prop job. He took me by surprise. Enough excuses! We have a mission to finish. While we create a diversion of the air carrier Justice, Siren will complete the plan we began almost 50 years ago. When she planted an explosive device inside this volcano, the device was programmed to work its way into the magma layer of molten lava without exploding. Now, when Siren homes in on the device with her sonic cannon, the charge will explode, setting off a chain of violent volcanic eruptions. The ring of fire will continue underwater, causing tidal waves and earthquakes along the coastlines of both sides of the Pacific Ocean. We will destroy every major city from L.A. to Tokyo in just hours. And the Skull Squadron will be there to pick up the pieces. The world will be ours alone! Chiller, I want you and a squadron of Skull Fighters to fly cover for Siren. Yes, sir. I'm counting on you not to let anyone interfere with my plans. If they do, put them on ice. With pleasure, sir. <laughs> We intercepted a transmission indicating Siren will soon return to set off the explosive device which she planted back in 43. A cub has defeated Siren in battle once before. He's got the best chance to get past her and plant the special missile that will stop Scorch's ring of fire. The rest of us will back him up. Cub, your number two missile is a sophisticated implosion bomb. It will stop the volcano from erupting, but you must plant it directly in the center of the cone. You think you can handle it? 100%, sir. Baron, it's up to you to help Cub through the dogfight. It's about time. <laughs> I was beginning to feel like a museum piece. To your battle stations. Prepare for launch. All flight personnel will report to your planes. Prepare all hangars for launch. Maintenance officer requested on level three. Take off. And the Baron 
and Cloud Eyes rise again. We've done well, but the fight's not over yet. What's next for us? You men have proven that you're brave, tough, and loyal. You are true Ring Raider heroes, so we're sending you home. But sir, there's still a job to be done. True, but we don't know when or where the Skull Squadron will strike next. So we need you men to go back home, to be our ears and our eyes, and to be ready for when we call you again. I have some special supplies and important instructions from Ring Raider Command. These supplies will bring the spirit of Ring Raiders into every aspect of your life. Oh, yay! Yeah. First, your Ring Raider shirts, sweats, and pants. Perfect fit! Belts and suspenders. Just like being strapped into the cockpit. When you get ready for some sack time, sleep on your official sheets and pillowcases. And always wear your Ring Raiders pajamas and your official Ring Raiders briefs. Yes, sir! And we've got you covered with rain gear, hats, gloves, and slippers. Yes, sir! Your Ring Raiders dart game will keep you in practice. Right on target. Sir, a Ring Raider's costume? Yes, men, you've earned the right to wear them. And because you have, you can be sure that we'll call you again. So when we call, come as fast as you can on your skates or come on your official Ring Raiders bike. And finally, men, your Ring Raiders sunglasses. Through them, you'll always see the good and the right. You're on your way. Until we meet again. The command is in your hands! Siren to Scorch. I'm firing my sonic cannon to activate the volcano.
is in my hands. Fire! Tiger to victory one. Good news, Ring Commander Vector. Mission accomplished. Sirens are scorched. The punk stopped the eruption. I'm splitting before he gets me. Sky Tiger to victory one. I've got Siren in my sight. This flight ring is dynamite. Permission requested to knock her out. Permission denied. Return to base immediately. Do you copy? A lot of static here, Commander. Yeah, I copy. Returning to base on the double. Engaged. I'm exhausted. And with good reason. You can only use the ring for a short period of time before your nervous system burns out. Whoa. If I disobeyed orders. Vector, he stopped me again. Or later, one way or another, he'll pay. I swear it! Commander Cub Jones, you have distinguished yourself in battle with bravery and obedience above and beyond the call of duty. It is my honor to award you the Ring Raiders Medal of Valor. You have proven yourself to be a valued member of the Ring Raiders. On behalf of all of us, welcome aboard. They derive from pre-existing rocks through the workings of weathering, erosion, transport, and deposition. The never-ending process reworking the Earth's crust. Weathering is the crumbling of the crust in place through exposure to atmospheric elements. It paves the way for erosion, the carving away of rock by streams and glaciers, wind and waves.
dreadlocks closing in on us. Yeah, and the whole room on Armada is right behind. We've only one chance for escape. Turret, prepare for space-time energy projection. But the step is damaged. We may not have the power to make it. Turret, activate the step now! It's no use, Questar. I'm giving it all she's got. The Valorian starship is going to Gamma Acceleration, Lord Kruno. <laughs> the Valorians are still within range. Don't let them escape. Engage tractor beam now! Tractor beam is locked on to us. We're getting a power surge. We may just make it. They're draining our energy. We're losing power. Disengage tractor beam. for a crash landing. <laughs> Is everyone all right? There appear to be no injuries. Our sensors are still down. There's no telling what's outside. We'll have to check it out. Prepare to exit. Where are we, Questar? Another world. A primitive world by the looks of it. One untouched by Krulos' destruction. Oh, it's so beautiful, Grandfather. I wish you could see it. I can imagine it, Serena. I sense we are not alone here. Wow! Look, over there! Those look like dinosaurs! They certainly do. And if those are dinosaurs, then this must be prehistoric Earth. Dinosaurs! What are we waiting for? Let's do some exploring! Come on, lad. Gunner, bring everyone out. But keep close to the ship. Don't frighten it, young star. We mean you no harm, my huge friend. Welcome to Earth, our new home! Dreadlock to ruling Armada! Axa! It's been two days now with no response! Impossible! My forces are everywhere! Unidentified beings heading this way! The Valorians! I want them destroyed! Dinosaurs everywhere. We've been dragged through time. Questar has done this to me. His space-time energy projector. I must have it to return to my empire. But how will we get the step, Great Krulos? The Valorians must be destroyed. Rasp, assemble a hunting party. Hammerhead, prepare the lava caves for brain boxing. I will build an army of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Works perfectly. 
It seems a good plan, Lord Krulos. Of course, the tractor beam seemed a good plan, too. <laughs> Do not grow too bold, Rasp. <laughs> of course not, Lord Krulos. Come on, young star. Let's race. You're on, little buddy. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex. And he's heading this way. Go back to the ship. What are you going to do? Don't worry about me, Pipsqueak. I'll go. Yeah! Gunner, Serena, come with me! Uh-oh! I don't suppose you can fly! Another Tycho Superblocks adventure. You've got to capture the enemy command post. Looks like a job for Tycho Superblocks. You have to strike hard, so you build the combat tank, Bob Half Track, the Mauler, and the Rocket Launcher. You send in your fast attack vehicle, then the attack chopper for support. You break through, you've won, and you've done it. Another great adventure with Superblocks. They work with Lego, too. Tycho Superblocks, military adventure series, 10 building sets, each sold separately. New from Tycho. The only thing more exciting than Turbo Hopper is Aero Turbo Hopper, the hottest off-road action you've ever seen. It leaps into the air because it's radio controlled, go anywhere, do anything, fun and speed. Yahoo! Over rocks and through the mud. Real turbo racing action. You just hit the turbo power to make the pass and win. Aero Turbo Hopper and Turbo Hopper, only from Tyco RC. As you commanded, Lord Krulos, the beasts are fully equipped and ready for testing. Begin! Saddle lasers, blazer side guns, and rocket thrusters all functioning as expected. It's not enough. I must have the mightiest of all, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Easy now, fellas. Easy there. Easy. Wow! Oh, you crazy lizard! What you doing? Hey, Gunner. Long way down. Want a lift? Land. Dinosaurs. Huh. Machines I can handle. But those big bruises are too blasted unpredictable. You've just got to have what it takes. Turret, how long before you finish the wall? Shouldn't take more than a few hours, Questar. Good. Once this wall is complete, Tyrannosaurus Rex won't have a side door to the valley. 
laser fire? Outside the valley? But who? We'd better find out. Yeah! on Earth? Questar, how is that possible? The last reading I had on any Rulons was back in the future. They were pulled through on the tractor beam. Gunner, can you two follow them? <laughs> the day I can't track a few scared vipers is the day I retire. Another Tycho Superblocks adventure. The dam has broken. The road's out. The town's in danger. So you grab your Tycho Superblocks and quickly build a bulldozer, a backhoe, a dump truck, a giant cranes, and the construction copter. Rushing to the scene, you clear the road. You've saved the town. You did it. Another great adventure with Tycho Superblocks. They work with Lego too. Tycho Superblocks. Road Builder Adventure Series. Nine building sets, each sold separately. New only from Tycho. They're here. Zero gravity cliffhangers. Cause you race them upside down. Plummeting through the giant loop as you reach for new speeds and use your skill to master the death-defying spiral and blast up the wall to zero gravity. And then back into the giant loop. You make your final move now to take the lead and win. Zero gravity cliffhangers. It's all in how you look at it. New from Tyco, of course. Krulos will use the woods for cover when he attacks. Here and here. The monocloni are positioned to counterattack across here. Serena? We're as ready as we'll ever be. Boy, are they in for a surprise. 
Don't underestimate Krulos. He's beaten us before. He won't this time. I'm checking on Gunner. Nervous, young star? Nah, it's the waiting that gets to me. I wish I could fight the Rulons. Lad, your mission is important. You must go now. Everything set, Gunner? Yep. All this Diplodocus and I need is a Rulon regiment to play with. I have a feeling it won't be long. I can't wait to deal with Krulos on even terms. Look at them, the fools. They plant crops while we prepare for war. It could be a trap. Whatever their plan, they cannot beat me. I will destroy them, and their step will return me to my empire. Ah! Attack! Up. Quickly! some real flying. The step is useless without it! Yes, Rasp. It will always be useless in the hands of Rulons. Out of my way, blind man! Your sight is of little use to you now. Get it, Rulon. Forget ever returning to the future. The Rulon Empire is finished. Come on. Meet 
your destiny. Speak for yourself, ruler. Uh, Questa, you have caused me considerable trouble. Well, that's all over now. A battle, but only a battle. The war goes on. A war that we will win. We're not Valorians anymore. We're Dino Riders. Shackle the Dynanicus. Great box on attack! They're sitting ducks! Heroic quest star on Diplodocus opens the secret pod. They're firing on me! Look out for the trap! Take this, Edhead! The hidden rockets blast the evil Rula. We'll meet again, quest star! Diplodocus with motorized walking action. Dynanicus and Tyranodon. With figures and battle gear, each sold separately. Dino Riders. Harness the power. Dino Riders. The Dino Rider is spotted by the evil Rulon. Take this, young star. You need glasses, Hammerhead. Pick on someone your own size, big eyes. The Rulons on their Triceratops aim their lasers. I'll distract them. Quickly turret from his Styracosaurus fires. Eat rocks, Rulons. Triceratops with motorized walking action. Styracosaurus and Quetzalcoatlus with figures and battle gear, each sold separately. Dino Riders. Harness the power. Dino Riders! The evil Rulons on Tyrannosaurus Rex attack! I'll crush you, Gunner! Catch me first, Krulos! The Dino Riders on their Tyrannosaurus trick the evil Rulons into following them! Hiding, Gunner! Over here, Frog Breath! Hidden rockets shoot the brain box off! He's free! He's free! Tyrannosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex with figures, battle gear, and motorized walking action. Each sold separately, Dino Riders! You are controlling the fastest train in the world, the most revolutionary machine on tracks, the incredible Super Turbo Train. So fast, it travels in scale, beyond the speed of sound. So powerful, it can do what no other train can do, race up a wall defying gravity. Now the ultimate, you streak upside down through the giant loop. You turn out the lights and you're in night glow, streamlining the darkness. Take control of the fastest train in the world, Super Turbo Train, new from Tyco, of course. The thrill of off-road racing is coming home. It's Racing Hopper's Electric Racing. You get the jump on the competition. Your Racing Hopper blasts full bore up Monster Mountain. You dive fearlessly over the top and cut him off as you blast for the boulders. Then you squeeze him out and leave him up a creek. You don't dare back off even when you want to most, because winning off-road takes skill and guts, especially when it's Racing Hopper's. Racing Hopper's Electric Racing, new from Tyco, of course. 
Now you can grab the thrill of driving real Porsche race cars with Tyco Radio Control. Or get behind the wheel of real Indy car racers with Tyco Radio Control. Because you race them. You're at the controls of Turbo Porsche race cars and Turbo Indy cars. Scale speed up to 260 miles per hour. And when you need it most, you hit your turbo power to make the pass. Nothing else even comes close. Turbo Porsche racers and Turbo Indy cars. Only from Tyco RC.